Annika and I are bleaching her hair. She's uh, joining me via video call. This is my natural hair, dude. I haven't had my natural hair in so long. And now you're gonna bleach it. I know, now I'm gonna bleach it. This is the first time I'm bleaching my entire head. Yeah, me too. I never bleach my entire head either. I don't, I want it to be a little bit darker so I don't need to go platinum. I don't know how platinum I need to go, but I was watching this swatch video of like the dye that I was using. Like the color that I wanted appeared at the one that was like. Oh, you froze. This is the first time I'm ever bleaching my hair by myself. I've dyed my hair a billion times by myself. I've bleached other people's hair a good amount of times. I had other people bleach my hair a lot of times, but I've never bleached my own hair. Wait, I need to pee. <laughs> nice. What am I doing? <laughs> I just poke through my glove. Oh wait, yeah, you're peeing. You're, I'm forever alone. Okay, let's let's just keep going. <laughs> first round. This is just the first round. If it looks patchy, I have a second round. I'm just gonna make sure that that's... Where did it go? I spotted bleach somewhere. Oh, that's my round. Ah, whatever, it's the back of my head. No one will see it. It's fine. on it and it was there for a while. So, so I, finally got all my stuff. I finally got all my stuff. <laughs> I love how I can tell that you're filming now. She says that she mixed powder and like liquid. Yep. Wow. What's that? Kind of lumpy. You're lumpy. Oh! Hey, Annika. What are you doing? We're bleaching your hair. Both of you see yeah. that? <laughs> oh. So, bleach party. Yeah. Is it called bleach party? Out of context, that sounds really bad. <laughs> Six and a half hours later. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> I I don't I don't know what it I don't know what I feel about this. You're making me hungry, dude. Because they look like noodles. <laughs> look at my hair. You look like a die-hard Filipino trying hard to be American. <laughs> Day two. I have coconut oil that I'm going to lather on my hair because technically you shouldn't be bleaching your hair two days in a row like I am. <laughs> I'm going to put coconut oil. Maybe that'll help. Maybe not. I'm just impatient. I don't know. So we're going for yellow instead of orange. That is the vibe today. Oh my gosh, I've been playing Minecraft and I completely forgot that I probably need to wash this off. Okay, it doesn't look too bad except for like the under part. Okay, we'll see. Uh... Day three. I'm probably not going to film all of this because you've seen enough time lapses of me bleaching my hair, but I'm going to bleach it again. As you can see, half of my hair is this blonde and then half of it is this darker color. It just so happens to be because I bleach it from like this part to this part, uh, the top part is all dark and then the bottom part is lighter <laughs> and that's weird. So I'm going to try evening it out a little bit. I'm officially blonde. 
or yellow. Ew, I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. I will never ever go blonde. My hair is probably dead now. Bro, what? Who is that? Hello, it's -a me, -a Mario. I don't know. So this is what we're working with. It's more or less the same color. Um, except for the roots, obviously, but that's on purpose. I did want the roots to be a little bit darker. And now it is time to tone. I have this random toner that I have, and I feel like it's low-key not going to work. But we're still going to use it because that's all I have right now. Also, I hate how I'm not being consistent with how I'm filming this. And I'm not going to do another time lapse this time, even though it is not bleach again. But that's honestly because I want to be watching YouTube videos. And I'm doing that on my phone because my laptop is out of battery. Like you guys cared. 12 seconds later. Okay, I think that was actually successful. Uh, we can start seeing some gray on the top here, which, no, you, well, you can't, I can. Okay, I'm, I'm okay. I have hope again. I have a hope again. I'm going to let this sit for a undetermined amount of time, and then I'm going to wash it off, and we'll see if I'm less orange. Eventually. Oh! Actually, I like that better. I mean, yeah, it is supposed then to be a bit better. Start blonde. I want like this one. I'm not even going blonde. This is like tomorrow. I'm actually gonna put the gray hair, so it'll be darker, a darker version of this. Okay. So by next week, we're not gonna pull up and go home. That's yeah. Chemicals yeah, 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 exactly. That's what I'm going for. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. Like hot pink. I think platinum blonde. I feel like Millie's always wanted to be platinum blonde. Mm. I, I feel like she wants like a bold color, you know? True, true, true. Like frosted tits okay. too. Watch her hair be like totally normal. She shaved her head. I believe that. No, I think it might be pixie cut. Pixie cut and blonde hair. Yeah, oh. I'm scared. Oh, <laughs> I know. Oh, she gets your hair. <laughs> Whoa, that's crazy! Are you go, like gray, or are you just gonna go? Yeah, I'm going gray. I'm going gray. Oh, because... Tuesday, I bleached it for the first time. Yesterday, I bleached it for the second time. Today, I bleached it for the third time. Like just like parts of it, and then I toned it. <laughs> Day four. So you guys are probably wondering the state of my hair right now because I literally bleached it three times in the last three days and then I toned it and now I'm going to dye it again. Usually when people dye their hair at home they wait maybe like three or four days of not washing their hair between bleach jobs and I am impatient and did not do that. Before I bleached my hair starting the second time around, so the first time this wasn't the case, but from the second time onwards, I would coat my hair with coconut oil. I melted the coconut oil and I lathered it on so it looked like my hair was really oily. And I honestly feel like that made my hair not die. I, I don't know if that's the reason why my hair is just naturally really resilient. The only time my hair was super bad was last time I bleached my hair. The pores of your hair just become so open that when you get it wet, you can like basically stretch it. Like there's no strength to them anymore when they're wet. And then I also had split ends when that happened. My hair didn't really fall off in that sense. Like when it was dry, it was fine. And so that was before and now my hair is actually like okay i can tell that it's not how it was before because when i run my hair through it at the very end it kind of gets caught and that only really happens when my hair is dry it doesn't look like straw it doesn't feel like straw um and now we're gonna test my luck again because this is the last time i'm going to be damaging my hair for a while Okay, so this is pretty accurate on camera. The main gist is that my roots are like this really warm orange color because I left my roots dark. There's a lot of sections where it's basically still like orangey yellow because toner doesn't work well in darker colors. And then for the rest of my hair, it is either a blonde or a gray gray silver if you look at the box here i'm going for like the bottom two this is the finale i finally get to have gray hair 
but also can we appreciate me as a blonde i don't think i'm ever gonna be a blonde again i'm not a blonde person but let's just take a moment to appreciate me being a blonde Ready? <laughs> I didn't think you were so filmed. Okay, thanks. Yeah, I, 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 okay. You can stop filming. You know? <laughs> anyway, so what do you think? Bye. What, what do you actually think? Wait! <laughs> it looks good. Is that the end goal? Are you gonna make it darker still or what? I wish the roots are a little bit darker and I wish it was like. There was more dimension to it, but also you can see that there's like still blonde sections. It's kind of a mess right now, so there's a chance that I might just leave it and then I'll just dye it a different color afterwards. That's like a little bit darker. Like I'll find a darker gray or something. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> Here's what we have now. It's okay. I think the dye is not as... I guess pigmented as I wish it was because as you can see even though I saturated it a lot we have some brown sections. I don't necessarily hate it but it does look a little bit patchy. There's some sections of my hair. There we go. That's a little bit orange and that kind of sucks. After my hair has some time to breathe I might do something about it or I might just wait till this fades and then dye something else. I guess I'm just gonna leave this here. Three weeks later. So I, I last filmed and I, ooh, I got a message. Since I last filmed, I dyed the roots of my hair black. And that was a really nice look. It kind of like faded. It was like black going into the gray. And I really like that as opposed to orange slash yellow going into gray. All of a sudden, after I took a shower for the first time, the gray kind of faded. I was using this purple shampoo which is actually really good. And it keeps my hair this like, it's not gray. It's like just really, it's still like, you can still see the hints of yellow and I don't like that look that much. So I went to the store today and I was gonna buy more of the gray dye to dye my hair again because I'm seeing my friends on Friday. And so I was like, <laughs> that look good because people are actually seeing me after two months of quarantine. But there were no gray dye. Wow, that, that English. There was no gray dye. So then I impulsively bought pink. I'm gonna dye my hair pink and then I'm also gonna redo my roots to make them black because once again, the look of black going into any color is better than orange going into any color because it just looks like my roots grew out a little bit and I feel like it adds a really nice depth. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's eat some... Uh hair dye. I had to do blood tests and then I had to do a uh, ultrasound. Oh my gosh, my eyes are actually dying. <laughs> <laughs> turns out to be Nile, and then Nile takes back the glasses and then runs the main character over. <laughs> You're the one who sets the bar. You da 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 da. You're fabulous. I'm fabulous. You're fabulous. Oh. Maybe my head will just explode. I'm gonna pop some tags. Hey. Uh. Two thousand years later. Well, this is my hair. It is questionably pink. This is how it looks with my hair washed once. I washed it last night. It used to be a little bit more vibrant, but it also used to be a little bit warmer because last night I washed my hair with the toner that I was using and it became a little bit more cool toned. I actually think I prefer this more, but I still wish it was more pink. So yeah, that was fun. Thanks for watching. Yeah.